Hey, good morning guys. I'm here again with a 21 mile intro video. Um, I'm just getting prepped, I'm ready. I ate, ate a banana and now I'm eating some salted peanuts. Can I give me some salts and uh, proteins to get ready for this run? Um, yeah. Um, just to kind of be a little vulnerable here, I'm I'm uh, learning a lot of this stuff as I go, especially the YouTube thing. Um, I have a lot of blocks and things that convince me not to do it, and I believe that's a key sign that this is exactly what I should be doing, um, spreading my message, just putting myself out there, um, continuing along this journey. Uh, I haven't really mentioned I'm having some mild injuries, nothing too crazy. I'm still able to run, but they're getting increasingly uncomfortable. So considering taking this next week coming up as a, as a kind of like a recover week, I drop some miles, focus on um, making sure I'm right. It's, um, my, my left big toe feels uh, like mild pain when I uh, flex it a certain way, like like two to three level pain out of 10. Um, and mostly flares up when I'm running or if I'm, or if I put my uh, toe in a wrong position while I'm sleeping or something, I'll, it'll wake me up and be discomfort. Also my right Achilles tendon has been um, getting inflamed around six or seven, five to seven mile marker on my um, week runs throughout the week so um, I'm actually interested to see how it's going to work on this 21 miler see if I can uh, manage it throughout um, so I don't know I'm just gonna follow what feels right um, show up do my part the best I can um, continue making videos I'll update everyone at the halfway mark and at the end mark and uh, you know piece all these things together for you in a one nice package which I know I'm, I'm improving on my video editing skills, which I haven't really done much of getting into it. I'm just more focused on the consistency, putting myself out there regularly at consistent times. Um, Wednesdays, 11 a.m. is my go-to time. Uh, last week I, I learned how to set up videos um, at scheduled times, so that's really cool. I also learned that iPhone has an iMovies function where you can uh, craft all videos that you take multiple videos and put them to one video which is how I got that last video and that's just slowly improving things like that slowly uh, like I like to call it face planning my way to success and uh, when I would focus so much on um, what other people thought of me like I didn't want people to see me making those face plants and and sharing my my struggles and like letting people in how much I didn't know because I felt like I was always getting judged and shamed and, and mocked and ridiculed for the things I didn't know. Like I was somehow lesser of a person because of something I've never experienced and I didn't have knowledge in, <clears throat> which logically makes no sense to feel that way. But um, <laughs> emotionally, it was a different battle to fight. Like I can, I could logically understand like that's, that's not how I should feel, but emotionally it took a long time for my, um, emotional understanding to catch up to my logical understanding and like coach my way through that. Um, and it's just taken, taken a lot of time, a lot of, uh, um, facing the fears anyway, like facing the emotional fallacies of situations like that. And this is a big reason why I'm, you know, here running putting myself out there so other people can see and understand the journey and process the, the the emotional battles the mental battles the the physical battles and how you just keep showing up consistently and stay committed and focusing on those small next step improves and not trying to you know crush life in a day like there's no such thing as an overnight success 
there's everyone has their journey everyone has their process that they went through and not many people see that or have um experienced other people's journeys and processes people's backstories um all the time and effort they put in and i want this this channel to reflect that that this is it may not be glamorous and i, I mean this this youtube channel might not take off it might not be received well um but i'm i'm really not doing it for fame i'm doing it for those few people who are out there watching who who want to make a change in their life who who just feel stuck and and can't figure out how to get the level of success they're after and really it's facing the, those fears facing those feelings and taking one next best step at a time and some days you face plant some days you fail some days you have to tactically decide to you know <laughs> run shorter distance of miles to make sure that you're in a healthier state to to take 10 bigger steps forward in the next following weeks and, and months so there's no guaranteed success path guaranteed successful way and path to success it's for me it's all been about feeling what's aligned feeling where i should move forward and what things i can identify um and I've made decisions and choices about moving forward on things that, you know, were, were missteps, you know. Um, I've made decisions and choices of moving forward on things that I was scared of but felt aligned. I did it anyway and had huge, huge learning points and progress points, and it was very rewarding and satisfying. So, yep, I am pretty much geared up and ready to go. Got my running vest. Uh, got couple Gatorades got a couple bananas got my so these have been like my reward after every run I don't know what it is about Takis I don't even know if I can put this in a video is this like product placement and like I'm not average I'm not with Takis or anything but I, just, I don't know I just really enjoy them it would have been like my reward food after long runs so some, <laughs> sometimes I'll be out there running and I'll just be like do it for the Takis do it for the Takis because I I mean sometimes it's uh, as conditioned as I feel like I've become to running, like there's some miles that are just a lot more challenging than others. You hit certain walls and you're running and it's just your process in life, honestly. Certain walls that you can't plan for that you just have to mentally, emotionally, and physically chunk away one, one step at a time. So yeah. All right. Uh, well, catch me in the midpoint. Should trans over transition over here shortly after this video, and you see me there, huffing and puffing and running. All right. Oh, hey. Halfway through, ten and a half miles. Uh, toes feeling all right. Um, mildly sore, not bad. I committed to doing the whole twenty-one miles, and then uh, reevaluate the end. See what I think about next week's training schedule. Uh, right Achilles tendon. I feel it a little bit of tight tightness. Um, I've just been trying to alternate miles between four foot running on my right foot and then striking mid to, to heel running every other mile to alleviate some tendon pressure. We'll see how I feel at the end. Yeah. So this is a mid midway update. Uh, mentally, I'm feeling good. Emotionally, feeling good. Physically, all right. Just uh, putting in the work. And uh, the way I remember being told to me by uh, a book I read by James Clear, Atomic Habits. Every vote or every action in the positive direction where you want to go is a vote cast towards the new person you're becoming. So I like to, when I learn stuff, I try to relate that to how, how I can action in my life in what ways. So I started viewing every mile as a vote cast towards the person I'm becoming, towards my self-worth, 
my confidence, my commitment to myself, and most importantly, because uh, you can't give away what you don't have. And I struggle giving commitment to other people because I wasn't sticking to my own commitments for my own life. So here I am, breaking that habit one mile at a time, one vote at a time. And uh, by the end of this run, I'll have 21 more votes cast towards the person I'm becoming. And that's, that excites me, that motivates me. Keep going <clears throat> for my personal level. You guys, you guys help motivate me on the external level. I like being able to share my journey, that process. All right, I'll catch you guys at the end. Whew. Oh, excuse me. Here at the end of uh, 21 miles, feeling good. Um, let me take this off. Whew. Oh yeah, look at that hair. That's that's great. Uh, my right Achilles tendon uh, fell into place, stopped hurting, um, which is awesome. Uh, definitely gonna start focusing on stretching that out more during the future ones, uh, during future weeks. Um, got a little bit of a knee pain in both my knees. Uh, probably just mild, very mild. Um, it's aches and pains are well. I don't know if I want to speak that in my life. Um, discomfort's part of the process. Um, I don't want to own that hurting myself is part of the journey. I don't. I don't want to speak that into this uh, into this event because, especially since I'm trying to get over these uh, blocks of these other hurts, my my big toe and my Achilles tendon. Yeah, did that. I can just let that go. Don't tell myself that that's hurting because I don't need that in my life. Uh, and. I actually had that thought in the run and um, my Achilles tendon and my big toe are feel, feel great. Um, again, I'm not gonna make any commitments until my recovery day tomorrow. Uh, rest out, um, stretch out, massage my feet, uh, hydrate, replenish calories. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's great. Um, run vest is doing really good. It's nice being able to run with my calorie and uh, water and every replenishment I need with me. It does add a little extra weight into my run, but it's uh, worth worth the worth the trade off. Oh. So now I'm just here. I'm gonna start stretching out soon. Get the rest of my day worked. Um, got a Gatorade, banana for recovery. Um, finish off a little pack of uh, salted peanuts I have uh, for protein and salts. <sighs> all right, what else? That's kind of like the, all the the logistical things that's going on right now. Um, yeah, like I mentioned in the middle lane portion in my halfway point portion of the video, uh, 21 votes cast towards the man I'm becoming and it feels great um i'm not here to to brag or or place myself above anyone else i don't i really don't believe that i am i'm not here like i said to impress anyone i'm here to impress upon people that anyone can get to a journey and place further than what they imagined they could with enough time energy and attention and consistent action placed towards that event that you want and it, it all starts with like little little events um i didn't start by running 21 miles that started with uh me earlier this year I, don't, I think it was like maybe late last year no it was early this year trying to run three or trying to run one mile and stopping three different times and catching my breath and like barely making it under i think nine nine minutes and a half or ten minutes one mile pace and I just decided that running was going to be the way I loved myself I showed up for myself I gave commitment to myself I I learned how to stock up my commitment piggy bank that way when I needed to give commitments to other people I had a reserve I had a 
like Dave Ramsey would say about finances, I had an emotional three to six months saved up for rainy days or for other people to spend it how I want. And that's what running became to me. That's that's why it's really not about running miles. It's it's about giving to myself, finding finding activities and challenges that really give back to me. That way I can be a service to others because like I mentioned before, you can't you can't give what you don't have. And that's the same for commitment, that's the same for love. If you don't love yourself, you can't give love to uh, effectively to others or you can but then you're doing it on an um, emotional credit card and, and the piper will come and the payment will be rough and I experienced that earlier this year uh, I was beat down physically emotionally mentally uh, just really struggled with giving my to myself first and allowing others to have the overflow from my life instead I was giving people from my personal reserves and it burnt me out in all areas and what that looked like is I had to move back in with my mom. I was down to the last $1,500 in my bank account with over 20K in debt. Uh, I wasn't showing up for my kids. I was felt very um, depressed, anxious, stressed. Um, I laid around a lot. A few nights that I've, I had to cry myself to sleep. Um, just wondering what I was doing, what was going on, how was I going to make a make it through it, and uh, it didn't didn't happen overnight, and it didn't happen by me continuing to not do anything about it. Because if you want if you want something to change, you got to be willing to do something different. And the life I was living, giving away to everyone else, not prioritizing my needs, um, I eventually discovered through a book called No More Mr. Nice Guy that uh, I was actually doing it selfishly. I was giving to others to make myself feel good and did it in the in the name of um, service, in the name of love, in the name of, of communion and fellowship, but it was on the long run slowly taking from me. And now being able to tell people no, being able to give myself my own time to um, build myself up, love myself, build commitment in my life. It's ultimately a service and that's love to other people. And it's, it can seem very counterintuitive to what the social climate says because the social climate of, of love that we currently live in is that you give and give and give and that's, that's love. And I necessarily don't believe in that. Like I, like I mentioned, I, I went through many, many events where I gave and gave and gave and um, with the, the covert contract of, well, if I, if I don't say no and I continually give to everyone else, then everyone else will, they can't say no and will con continually give back to me when I need it. And that was built that belief on very faulty and false grounds because when I was at my lowest, there was people that I expected to be there that, that weren't. And partly, and that partly was on me. I was, I, I built up this framework of not communicating my needs and not communicating like I'm helping you out of love and can we build something together that's taking us further as a team and uh yeah I miscommunicated that aka didn't communicate it at all and uh I was I was alone through what I well I felt like was alone through a lot of it and here I am um end of close to end of 2020 um this has been a very emotionally up and up and down year and the lessons i've been learning i've just been loving and i wanted to start sharing the process and journey of of how to get through very challenging times where you feel like you're at your lowest um so stick around um continue to like comment share and engage um Definitely, if you want to hear more of what I have to say and hear more of my journey, don't forget to subscribe. And it goes a long way by sharing this channel with someone else who might need to hear something along these lines, who might be at their lowest point, and this could resonate with them and help them break out of that, out of that funk, like I, like I uh, had to do through a lot of support, a lot of uh, turning towards people who who more cared about helping than themselves. Um, learning to short myself firstly. Um, so yeah, so don't forget to share because it goes a long way with building the channel and growing it. 
So I appreciate you guys, and until next video, take care. Guys, I definitely almost forgot something very, very important. I earned my Takis. I'm gonna enjoy these things so hard. All right, for real, this is the very this this is the end. Enjoy your weeks. See you next video.